How's it going everybody and welcome back to the MGSR server. If you haven't seen the last episode, we worked on finishing a path to the open area inside of the portal. And I'm going to head in there right now just to show you guys what it looks like. Because this portal is actually underneath my underwater base, it means that the portal inside of the nether is actually going to be underneath lava. Which is why I have to go up quite a bit of stairs to get out into the open area. But as you can see, there is a bridge right here which you can see creatures and stuff, and you can actually see a ghast out there. But then if you keep walking and take a left down here, you actually see a few iron doors. Then you can hit the button and walk out here. And there's all sorts of different creatures, and if we keep going out even farther, I'm sure there's going to be some glowstone and some sort of nether fortress. But on today's episode, we're actually going to be working on something completely different which is going to be clearing out a little bit of the Woodland Mansion because we explored there quite a few episodes ago but I never really cleared all of the stuff that I wanted because my inventory was full. So we're actually going to be heading over there with an empty inventory. But before we do that I'm actually going to grab my bed, some torches, and a boat. And I'm probably going to sleep the night before if I can. Otherwise I will do a time lapse of me walking over to the Woodland Mansion and I will see you guys once I get over there. Alright everyone, I just got to the Woodland Mansion and there's actually no way to get up here so I'm just going to do some parkour and jump up here. What I mostly need from this Woodland Mansion is carpet because we're going to be doing a carpet project probably in the next episode. So I'm going to gather up a bunch of this red and white carpet. Probably just do the red for now and see where it puts me. And then I might grab the white later if we have enough inventory space. So I'll see you guys after I grab all this red carpet. I just cleared all the red carpet from the bottom floor and it looks like I got just under 10 stacks of carpet which will hopefully be enough for the carpet project that we will be working on in the next episode. Now I'm going to go room by room to see resources that I need because we mostly need carpet and wool so like in this room I don't need anything because it's just flowers and cobblestone which I have back at the base but a room like this I can get this red carpet and I can use it to help us on the carpet project. So I will let you guys know when I find my next room where there's something that I can actually use for the carpet project. In this room there's actually two pieces of carpet in the back corner here so I'm going to grab that and I think this is the same room that is right next to it so I'll also grab the carpet from there and I'll see you in the next room that has valuable resources like wool or carpet in it. This is a wool vindicator I'm pretty sure and I could actually use all this wool in the next episode for the carpet. So I'm going to start deleting all of it and I will see you guys after the short time lapse of me deleting all the wool. The wool has now been deleted so now I'm going to work my way on to the next room and hopefully find some more wool or carpet. And I have a feeling that my inventory is getting pretty full because there's quite a lot of different colors. But now I'm going to check this room and it looks like there's a skeleton in there. So let me hit him here. And I forgot I had fire aspect on my sword. So I'll probably only have to hit each creature with my sword once and they should die. Now I'm actually going to go up to the second floor and take a right up here. And I'm pretty sure there's a third floor right over here. So I'm going to go explore the third floor and I'll let you guys know if there's any wool or carpet up here. There's actually some carpet on this table right here, so I'm going to be deleting that. It looks like there's some green, some yellow, and some blue. There's some white carpet in this room right here, and I think there's a piece of black carpet there at the top, but as you guys can see, my inventory is actually full, so I won't even be able to grab that carpet. The only room I think I have is for white carpet, because I only got about five or so pieces. It actually looks like I got six pieces. So I'm going to put that in my inventory right here and fill it up to 64. And if I see any other carpets that I can fit in my inventory because I already have that color in my inventory or wool, I'm going to be putting it in my inventory 
but otherwise I think that's all really we can fit in my inventory from clearing out the woodland mansion. My inventory is actually pretty full now, so I'm going to start heading back to the underwater base. And once again, I'm going to do a time lapse of me walking back, and I will see you guys once I get to the underwater base. I just got back and now I'm going to put all of the wool and carpet into the chest organizer. And I got quite a bit of an assortment, but I'll just put it all in and let it filter its way through the chest organizer. I also got a block of lapis, which I think I'm actually going to turn into actual lapis. That way it can actually go through the system. And I'll let that sort for a little while and I will see you guys once I have an update. It's been a while since I've shown all these farms, so I'm actually going to go through that, but first let me grab some food here. I'm just going to grab some melons, I think, for now. But if we walk on over here, I'll show you all the farms that we have. Starting right here, we have a cactus farm. And let's see how full it is. Whoops. Okay, not bad. And then cocoa bean, you actually have to do this one manually. Flip the lever, and then you have to replant them all. And then the one to the left is actually melons I'm pretty sure whoops oh this one's pumpkins okay and then this one right over here is melons I actually think I'm going to empty all the chests from all these farms like the cactus and the melons and all of them because if I put them through the chest organizer they should make their way to their own spot because they are sorted in the chest organizer so it won't take up any room in the miscellaneous chest the next one is an automatic wheat, carrot, and potatoes farm, but that one doesn't really work. Sugarcane doesn't look terrible. Chicken farm I just emptied, so yeah, there's only one chicken in there. And then this right here is a nether warts farm. You actually have to hit the button right here. And then it will dispense water, and then you hit it again, and only a few usually make it into this chest. But then if you go up here to replant them all, you actually grab quite a bit more, because the water stops them from going into the hopper which is kind of weird at the corners, but you only really get the ones in the centers through the hopper. This one right here is a cobblestone farm if you delete the cobblestone. Whoops, did not mean to do that. Um, I don't have any cobblestone or anything. Let me just delete this, and then I can hopefully grab that piece of cobblestone, and I'll just put it at the wall for now because I don't really want lava in my base. Okay, there we go. Now let's let that lava clear up. That's weird, that's like the one time I don't have any other blocked items in my inventory that I can use. But now that that's taken care of, let me grab some melons here and actually eat them because my hunger and health is pretty low. And this next farm right here is an armor equipper and actually don't know where the button went because I think you stand right there and it's supposed to activate. So I'll actually have to grab that later. This one, if you hit the button, you will get 34 torches. Which, let me just show you here really quickly. If you were to use a stone button, it would give you 32. But the wooden button gives you 34. This next one right here is a fireplace. So you can flip this lever right here and have it either on or off. This is a potion brewer, and we actually use it in most videos to build potions. But this is a food generator where you hit the button and you get an assortment of food. And this right here is the maps that we're still in the process of building. And then we have a note block to the left where we only have one CD that can currently work in that note block. But we'll probably find more later when we find more spawners and stuff. Now that I've shown you all the farms, I'm actually going to go back to the bottom floor of the underwater base and put this stuff through the chest organizer. Once again, most of this stuff should make its way into the chest organizer and not get stuck in the miscellaneous chest. Because most of these items are actually sorted in the chest organizer. So I'm just going to put all the items in here for now, and I'm going to grab a piece of cobblestone here to turn it into a button, and I'm going to grab a block of quartz, and it looks like I need a piece of stone. I always get confused whether it's stone or cobblestone to craft up a button, but it looks like it's a piece of stone. So I'm going to grab a piece of stone here, craft up a button, and grab one piece of blocks of quartz to fix that cobblestone generator, and I will see you guys back at the top floor. I think I put a pressure plate here last time, but I'm actually going to put a button. I think I'm going to put it right there in the face. And then this, we're going to have to change that really quickly so no lava gets on the floor. 
there we go and the cobblestone generator works like this you stand right here and between the lava and the water it will generate cobblestone and if you delete it it will actually go into the hopper most of the time and then you can look in the chest and grab your cobblestone now I'm going to grab a stack of netherrack and I'm going to grab my fire resistant potion because I did have one left and we're actually going to hopefully find some glowstone because for part of the carpet project we're actually going to need some more glowstone and hopefully this time it will be easier than it was last time I was trying to get glowstone and hopefully there's quite a bit of glowstone but I will see you guys when I find a glowstone spot. I just found some glowstone right here and I don't think it's going to end up going into the lava below. Hopefully I can get it all. I actually did fight a gas in the way here but because of my fire resistant potion I was able to actually make it out alive from that battle. Now I'm going to finish deleting all of this glowstone and I might find a few other patches on the way back but hopefully I can get a bunch of glowstone before my potion breaks which is 8 minutes from when I started it and I will see you guys once I get back to the underwater base. Alright I just grabbed some glowstone from another patch and now I'm trying to find my way back though I did kind of forget where I came from. Hopefully I can find it. I'll let you guys know once I have an update. Alright, I think my portal is actually over there to the right a little bit. And I'm going to see if you can swim with this potion. I'm not entirely sure if you can. As mentioned in the last episode, I've never actually used this potion before. So I'm not really sure what's going to happen. But I'm trying to see if I can swim all the way over here without dying or the potion breaking. It actually looks like I'm starting to lose health. I think because my potion just broke. But I'll respawn and... Oh, I'm back at the spawn point because... I spent the night at the Woodland Mansion and then I deleted my bed, but I will see you guys back at the underwater base. Alright, I'm going to clear my inventory because I just got back to the underwater base and we're actually going to go find some food because I have my fire aspect sword, we can actually kill creatures pretty quickly and hopefully it will get me cooked food. But I'm going to do a time lapse of me gathering some food outside of the underwater base and I will see you guys after the time lapse. I got quite an assortment and actually all this food looks like it's cooked up and I'm going to keep this steak on me for now but unfortunately that's all the time I have for for today's video. Be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button because there are new videos coming out every day on GTA How To. Otherwise there are two videos coming out a week from the MGSR server. You can follow me on my Instagram at MGSRGaming otherwise I will see you tomorrow for our next GTA How To video. Click on the top left to watch a video that YouTube recommends for you, and click on the right to subscribe.